Okay, so here is the build right here. It is a poison assassin, as you would probably expect, except for I swapped out the flicker strike that we had last time. That was... I think it was sitting around 15 million DPS. Apparently poison's really good right now. That was great and all, but I decided I wanted to try out some of the other strike skills, because I'm not really feeling flicker strike, honestly. Uh, and I had some slight success. Slight... Light success. So that's 31 million DPS. Uh, I don't know if that's accurate. Like, every time I see a number that high, I'm like, hmm, something's wrong. That is unbuffed, notably. So this is Viper Strike. Apparently, Viper Strike scales very well with poison. Who, <laughs> who knew? Uh, <laughs> they added, uh, they tripled the added damage effectiveness, and they tripled the base attack damage effectiveness on Viper Strike this league. They also raised the mana a bit and uh, removed uh, added chaos damage, which was just, they were just rolling it into the weapons, basically. Uh, but uh, apparently that made it really, really strong. So, I'm kind of excited. The uh, main focus of this build is just Perfect Agony here. As you can see, 21.5 million of my DPS comes from Perfect Agony. They have changed it now so that your dot multi is equal to your critical strike multiplier. So effect, so adding dot multi to your build it does not affect you in any way, only adding crit multi. Your critical strikes do not do extra damage, and non-critical strikes cannot inflict ailments. So if I don't crit, I don't do damage, basically, because my Viper Strike hits for 10,000, and my poison, each poison is 300,000, so not exactly, uh, not exactly a thing that, uh, does a thing. Anyways, the main points of this build is just poison, poison proliferation, uh, lots of life, we have leech on, we have life regen, life leech, Mana Regen, Mana Leech, and ES Leech. Kind of a nice little setup. Thank you, Pyro, for making the basis for what this build eventually became, because it is looking sexy as hell. We'll be using Vino's Kitchen Knife, Leper's Alm for our weapons. We'll be taking one of Fenimus's things, our Fenimus's Toxins, and be using Covenant for the Chestplate. And then Marlene's Fallacy for the Crit Multi. I'm not going to go over the rest of this build in general. But i just just going to give you the briefest overview. Uh, with the basic gems, we're at 31. If you use the advanced gems, we're at 39 million. Supposedly. Unfortunately, this is a 6-button build. I tried to not make it a 6-button build, but that was hard. So, we, it's, it does get a bit more when you're in the advanced gems. Uh, right now, for buttons, we have Travel. We have our Wither Totems. We have our Curse. And we have Haste. So, technically, it's five buttons with Fiber Strife. Uh, we will have Wither later as well. Or not Wither. We will have uh, Bulb Light as well later, which is just a nice little buff. But... I swapped out, we were originally doing Whirling Blades, Hex on Hit with Despair and Temporal Chains. Bane just applies them both at once and you don't need to be nearby to necessarily do it. So you can apply it and then jump in. So it doesn't require moving or anything. It's just a simpler method. Okay. And now that we've done that, the briefest of overviews, let us jump into the actual game.